Shrimad Bhagavatam, <coughs> Canto 1, Chapter 5, Text 11. Tava Vicharaka Jana Nana Viplavo, Jasni Pratis Lokam Madhavam Tapi, Namami Anantasya Yasoni Kitaniyat, Shrimandi Gayandi Krenandi Sadava. On the other hand, that literature which is full of descriptions of transcendental glories of the name, fame, and forms, and pastime, etc., of the Unlimited Supreme Lord is a different creation, full of transcendental words directed towards bringing about the revolution in the impious life of this world misdirected civilization. Such transcendental literatures, even though imperfectly composed, are heard, sung, and accepted by purified men who are truly honest. So, this is a very important verse. So, so like a <coughs> Narada is explaining, even if, if one explains the, all the other dimensions to spirituality, but doesn't touch the Isvara, that's imperfect, and that doesn't ultimately satisfy the self. But on the other hand, that kind of text that are full of descriptions, transcendental glories of, of the action, activities, form, and names of the Supreme. So there's different dimensions how one can approach the Supreme. Uh, and that's revolutionary, because that's uh, what comes to the, our material culture. It's almost striving the opposite direction. The whole rest of the world is going. So it's, in one, one sense, it's very revolutionary. The, the bhakti is a revolution movement in that sense because it's questions all material civilization and uh, strives basically on the op opposite direction from that was the spiritual revelation spiritual realization so here and then it's explained to all even th those texts are imperfect even if they are imperfect, they are accepted as perfect because the conclusion is perfect. So this is also important because then sometimes their argument that no one is perfect, but Veda says that those uh, that's the perfection, and no one understands the conclusion, even if there's mistakes and details, they are still purifying the consciousness. And it's here said that that those who are pure, they accept those. So we should follow their footsteps. Shrimad Bhagavad Gita.